Well, today I'm going to show you what I do when I catch a swarm in a swarm trap. Uh, as you can see, uh, the hives behind me, the bees are not flying this morning. It's fairly early in the morning and it's chilly out here for this time of the year. It's low to mid 50s and the bees are just hanging out in their hives and that's exactly what I want. I'm going to go move this swarm trap to a new location. When I've come out here the last few times, it's been pretty warm and the bees have been busy. They've been in and out of that thing and it's been covered with bees on the front of the trap. And so this is the perfect opportunity to do this. We'll just give you a little perspective here. Here are the slocum bees right here. And there's the trap back behind them on that tree back there, that green box. So just walking down here past the hives. If you remember a few weeks ago, I think the video was called a Strong Bees First Swarm 2021. I was down here, there was a swarm up in a tree. I couldn't get them, so I hung this box up right here and a swarm moved in here while I was working the bees that day. I set them over on a pallet over there for a few days. Uh, they got established, they're doing great. And then I put this box back up here. Well, came back the next time and sure enough, there was a swarm in here. What I like to do is just leave them alone for a few days and let them get established. And then I take them and do whatever I need to do with them. Uh, the reason I do that is a couple reasons. Number one, I do like them to get established. Number two, if there was a virgin queen in that swarm, and I don't know when they moved in here, then I hate to move them in the middle of the days when she's taking her mating flights and her to get lost and not make it back. And so I just like to give them at least 10 days, a couple of weeks, whatever it is to get established. There've always been bees on the front. They've been flying in and out. I think it's definitely an established colony. It's time to move them today. There they are. All right, the process is real simple. I just take a piece of tape Put it over the hole like this, and we got them. We're not going very far. If we were, I would need to put some type of a screen or something over here for ventilation, but we're probably just going like 10 minutes from here, and I've never had an issue moving them like this before uh, for a reasonably short distance. So the way I have this thing set up, it's just hanging on a nail up there in the tree. We've got the lid secured with the ratchet strap, and all you gotta do is just take this thing. We're about to see how heavy it is. Pick it up off the tree. It's not too bad. And go put it in the truck. Now I'm gonna grab a nuke or two that we're taking down too, uh, to the new area. Ah, at least like that's where we're going to put the swarm. I'm just going to set it down here for just a couple of minutes while I go get my uh, smoker going and get prepared. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. If you start to get oriented, they're probably going to be pretty mad. Yep, I was right. There they come. I'm going to open this thing up, see what we have. And then I'm going to transfer them into this regular 10 frame box that I brought with me and just put them on the pallet. And these will become, assuming they do well, they'll become one of our pollination hives. Set this over here like this. Set this box down on here. It's always exciting to open up a swarm and, and see what you got. Uh, these next door neighbors over here 
They're a little fired up too, not bad, but just want to keep them in check too here. Starting to warm up just a little bit, so the bees will be flying more here very soon. Got eight frames in here. You'll see how this trap was set up. This was just a frame of foundation right here. Not doing much on the front of it, but on the back, they're drawing it out a little bit. So this swarm's probably been in here, I'm guessing, maybe a couple of weeks. So quite a few bees on that frame. This next frame right here obviously was, it was an old frame right here. They cleaned it off some. Right through here, looks like there was some old pollen in there and stuff. They're just trying to get that frame going, get it cleaned up. It, had, it was an old beat up frame. See some pollen in here. We got nectar all up in there. So from what it looks like, I don't think this was a massive swarm that moved into here. The lighting is weird here. It's hard for me to see what's going on here. Right down in here, amongst that pollen, I'm seeing a few eggs, a little bit of a milk brood or recently hatched larva. Looks like I put three or four frames of comb in this one when I set up this swarm trap. Not seeing the queen. I really don't look for the queen. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know I don't look for her a lot usually. Kind of trying to scan for her real quick. There's a pretty good sized swarm. We got probably three or four frames of bees in here. And the queen seems to just be kind of starting to lay a little bit. So she may have been a virgin queen that just got mated. I wish I knew how long they've been in here, but I really don't know for sure. But she is definitely laying. All these cells right here have eggs and everything in them. One day maybe I'll have a system or a camera set up where I can better show you all the uh, eggs and the small things that I see. If anybody's got an idea of a camera that would be better, uh, let me know. Just kind of putting them in this new box in the same order they come out of the trap. Another frame of bees here. Oh wow, it's, there's more bees in here than I thought there were. Look at all those bees. This was in some old comb that was kind of wonky. They seem really calm and they seem to be nice bees. I probably could have gotten away without wearing gloves here. Those of you who have watched my videos lately, you'll know that my bees have been kind of crazy this spring, but they're finally starting to settle down and act like I would expect them to. I was getting a little worried there for a while. I'd like to see her if I could. It's always kind of neat to see a queen, especially in something like this when you don't know really if she's a young or an old queen or what, but I'm guessing she's young. I'm pretty sure this was some uh, empty foundation I put in here when I set up the trap. See how calm they are. They're just starting to draw this out through here, starting to draw the wax out. It's really an incredible thing. Same thing on this side. These last two frames are pretty much starting to be drawn out as well. This one, the last one's not being drawn out much at all. So there you go. So that's what it looks like when you break into one of these swarm traps. If you give them a little bit of time to get established, they'll just go to work and they'll set it up and treat it like a, you know, like any other setup. You don't see the queen in the box. I'll pull these frames out one more quick time and do a quick scan for a queen, then we're gonna finish up. I right, did a quick scan, didn't see the queen. I'm gonna kind of leave these frames in a similar configuration they were in. So I think I'm gonna put a frame of foundation right here just for the heck of it. They'll figure it out. And I also have a frame of comb the frame of comb right here a little more comb to work on so they can build up quick about four or five frames of drawn comb they're drawing out some other comb and then we got some little bit of empty foundation in here 
they should just go to work, fill this thing up, hopefully pretty quickly. And uh, what I'm gonna do now, get these bees off of here. I'm gonna just bump the bees are on the front of the box in front of the colony. I bump them, they'll fall to the ground and they can fly in. I'm gonna take the rest of them and bump them down into a corner. Like that. Dump them on the hive like that. A little bit of dirt in there. I'll clean that up. Take the lid, place it on there. Like this. And we've now transferred this swarm into a regular box. Well, it's been a few minutes. Uh, they're just getting settled in, you can see. <sighs> Fanning their wings. Getting used to this as their new home. And I think they won't have any problems making their transition. Uh, coming out here in a couple hours, they'll probably just be just working away. Just like they were at their other spot. So if they blow up and grow into a nice strong colony like I hope they will, they'll be a nice addition to these pollination hives. So I have one more uh, deep box in the truck and so I'm going to go up and uh, put one of those nukes and transfer it into the deep box. Then we'll go rehang the swarm trap back up in Slocum in case we catch us another swarm. All right, now it's time to get this thing hung back up and see if we can catch another one. There's different ways to do it. I like to have at least a couple of frames of drawn comb in there. I just kind of stick them in there like this. Then I stick another frame. I'll put a frame of uh, kind of a new frame. It's been in a high before you can tell, but they just really didn't draw it out much, so it should be okay. So then I just put four frames of empty foundation in here. This is Pureco Triple Wax. I really like them. It's mostly what I use. It's not a bad idea. Last night I was watching a video from Baddest Bees and he likes to leave a little space in there. In other words, don't put all the frames in there, don't fill it completely up. He'll put in some foundationless frames, which is fine. I've, sometimes I'll set up a swarm trap. If I don't have enough frames, I'll just put a few frames in there. I uh, really just want to get them in the box. But if you put, like if you don't put frames, if you just leave it empty, they'll draw the wax from the lid and it, it's kind of a mess when you open it up. But I like the idea of foundationless frames like John uses with fast bees. That's not a bad idea either. It's just how I do it. Secret weapon, Swarm Commander. I'll put like a spray on the top of the frames and then I'll just put a couple sprays on the lid. Kind of put that towards the back. And put a squirt in the front. And we are set. So I've already caught two swarms on this thing this year. Maybe we'll catch another one. Uh, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. If I catch a swarm in here, more than likely it's a swarm from one of my hives. So I really don't want them swarming. But it is a good a backup. If they swarm, then maybe I can catch them back. So we'll see what happens. Now we just go hang it in the tree. And there it is, all set up. We'll see what happens. Man, what a beautiful day it is. And we've had a successful morning. We got the swarm transferred from the trap into a 10 frame box and hung her back up over here. Uh, don't forget the giveaway coming up at 10,000 subscribers, Laura B's oxalic acid vaporizer, $250 value, high quality product. And we're getting close for approaching it quickly hopefully in the next week or two but we'll see how it goes i appreciate y'all watching y'all take care and be safe